Hello my scrappy friends, it is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me for a Kidaholics Kids Design Team layout. So I started this layout by creating a really fun background on a second piece of paper. I did start off recording this but it ended up going a little bit crazy um, and sort of deviating from where I had started. So you're now just joining me after I have made the background. I couldn't keep it straight so I ended up cutting it off that cream 12 by 12 paper that I had originally started to make it on but it was looking so wonky and crazy that I ended up cutting it down into squares and I'm now mounting these squares onto a piece of tri uh, orange paper that I just pulled out of my stash. Now in terms of um, sort of like a template or what I was working with. I did design myself a little template. It's the same kind of um, template you'd use if you were doing like a herringbone perhaps. It's all just in the angle of where those pieces join at the ends or meet in the middle I suppose you could say. But I really love the way this looks and worked out together. So as you can see I stuck down some more of that beautiful twine ribbon that came in the kit uh, I just used my ATG gun, my double-sided tape on that. That was perfect. I used leftover bits of the wood grain from my last layout, from my arrows layout. And then I used some of that really fun camera paper as well that I did also use in the first layout. So kind of things that I'd already started cutting into. Then in this layout, I'm going to use a little bit of a mixture of the different ephemera pieces that came in the kit. So the cassette that I put under there, that was fussy cut on off the cutter parts page. The little tab that I'm putting out the side of the photograph, that is from the sticker sheet that is the Coco Vanilla Studio sticker sheet. But then the epic for part of my title and this little piece here, I think that says dude that is from the other 12 by 12 sticker sheet that had the ephemera on it so Steph has definitely spoiled us for choice in the amount of ephemera and bits and pieces we have to use in this kit and I am using a little bit of a mixture of them all today I also am adding a little bit of orange twine to go underneath or orange DMC floss or thread, depending on the language you like to use, to go underneath my clusters, just to add a little bit more pop of that orange, just to help tie it all in together. In this particular layout, uh, the photographs is of my eldest, Jack, his cousin, had these epic sunglasses that he was just obsessed with and thought they were super cool and we looked around for them everywhere but could not find them in a price point that suited us and eventually I managed to find some from Big W um, which he is obsessed with and has just been wearing them non-stop. We even had to walk to school one day, which that's fine. We like walking to school, but just so he could wear his new sunnies and show them to all his mates at school, which is very cute. And in the end, Jack had made such a fuss about the sunglasses that, of course, I needed to go and buy a pair for Thomas because Thomas couldn't be missing out, which is kind of cute. So as you can see, I'm trying to pull that orange across all of the different clusters just to kind of keep that that color scheme happening across the page, which I think is working really well, um, especially with that orange twine or thread helping to pull it all together. The glasses themselves are actually more red than orange, but that's okay. In terms of the title, I am using that word epic that came on the 12 by 12 sticker sheet, but I'm also going to pull in the thickers that we got in the pack as well to add the word sunglasses. <clears throat> and I'm actually going to work from the center and work my way out just to make sure again, I have the letters centered where I want them to go. And this is one of those cases where I'm using a bit of a mixed metals approach here with this layout. It's very unlike me, but Steph included the silver thickers and in the kit the papers had a gold um, foiling on them so I am just rolling with it and using both silver and gold it's funny because it's not something that would bother Katie but it's something that I usually wouldn't do but to be honest it really didn't even cross my mind when creating this layout which is kind of nice 
And when it comes to splatters, I am just going to use both. I'm going to use silver splatters and gold splatters. Popping on a few little dots. Again, I was trying to keep the colours the same. I wanted to use those kind of grey, dark, moody tones in our dots. So just made sure I kept those in a similar colour scheme to uh, in each cluster. Popping on my silver splatters. And then I'm going to pop on some gold ones. <clears throat> and that will be the end of this layout. And then I've got some really fun close-up photos where you can get a better look at the different textures and the different um, way this layout all comes together, which I really love. There's so much going on. There's the stickers, there's the ephemera, there's the string, there's the twine, there's yeah, so many things happening. And I think it turned out really, really cute. So thank you so much for watching. I have had so much fun sharing this with you and I cannot wait to share my next week's layout with you as well. So I'll see you all then. Bye everyone.